Good day, fellas. It is a Maxi RSPS, and welcome to the third episode of my All Wheel Deal Locked account. So, there's been a bunch of stuff added to the wheel. Arcane Comet has helped a ton with some on the standard wheel and the Wheel of Doom. As you can see, there is now two Wheel of Doom slots, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I'll quickly go over it. Ten, the new ones are Donate $10, Skilling for 30 minutes, Slayer Task, Lose 4 Inventory slots for an hour. I'll re-spin if it lands on that. That'll obviously just count towards anything else I have to do for the next hour. Donate 10 mil to the Well of Goodwill. I have to obviously make that in the wieldy and I won't count the starting cash. Ask the community to tell you what to do. It can't be detrimental, but I'm not sure what people come up with. We'll try that one if it lands on it. Um, but yeah, it can't just be like... Something, I don't know how that one's going to exactly work. I guess I'll ask people and see what they come up with. And um, Wheel of Doom has come up twice now. And he has come up with a bunch of Wheel of Dooms as well if it lands on that, which it will inevitably with the chances. But let's see how the episode starts off. That is a very odd effect. Skilling for 30 minutes. Okay, um, that is the start of the episode. Let's get to it, boys. So when it comes to skilling, there's not a lot to... um. My actual fletching is locked behind feathers, so maybe you guys can decide on that if we're going to allow feathers or not. Uh, I kind of should have thought of that before. I said, yep, this is it. We're wieldy locked. I might not allow feathers. Um, so this is kind of just training this skill is kind of cosmetic at the moment. Uh, there's no crazy usefulness. Uh, thieving definitely has its use. Um, there is the rogue's chest, which has custom rewards on here. Um, but yeah, fletching, actually getting stuff like a magic short bow out of fletching is locked behind feathers and bowstring. Um, I get either of them as far as I know it anyway in the wilderness. But uh, thieving, there's a there's a man like literally right there, so I can technically train that one. But uh, yeah, just for the sake of the 30 minutes, it won't take me long. We're just going to do wood cutting watching and probably fire making and uh yeah then we'll be spinning the wheel again before we do that but i do have these crystal keys um elbow chest was added to ferox not by a series by the way um let's see okay uh so i'm gonna decide i guess i the crystal keys gave me this thing, but there's no way I can use it for ages anyway. But we'll decide what we're actually going to do with this. Dragon boots are really nice, but yeah, enhanced weapon seed is absolutely insane. It does open up a lot of potential, but um, regardless, it is locked behind a lot of skilling, which is going to be difficult in the wielding. I, I have no idea how I'm even going to do crafting at the moment. Uh, actually, I don't think it is possible for me to use this because... Of the crystal shards needed to create them you need to do uh, i believe it is crystal slayer i actually think it is this item's going to be impossible but it is interesting to have for theory crafting and see if it is possible in the future dragon boots are nice these two are just coins the food's nice the blood runes are amazing and i guess crafting isn't completely impossible uh, i'm sure there's a way to get sapphires i'll figure it out and we will open this medium clue Green D high body is very nice for the account. But yeah, very solid. Most inefficient 30, uh, 30 hours? No, 30 minutes of skilling ever. Uh, if you get 59 fire making, 61 wood cutting, and 47 fletching, I was probably not even paying attention half the time. I gotta get a better plan for when it lands on them, like I've said probably three times this video. Uh, obviously, if a shooting star aligns with it, uh, the skilling. Wheel, that is quite good, but um, regardless, we are going to move on to our next spin. Just gonna load up the page. And we will uh, switch screens real quickly. Number one YouTuber, guys. That black screen. There we go. The beautiful wheel. Lands on skilling again. I will re-roll it. Um, 
it's not a punishing one, so I believe getting that twice in a row is just boring. So let's get into it. See what we land on this time. Rose would be very nice. That is what we like to see, the revenants. Um so I might just might leave this one to half an hour as well. We might go for an hour. I haven't put a time limit on this one. But I won't stay there all night anyway. But we'll do half an hour or an hour. Let's, let's see if we can get a, a red weapon that would be absolutely insane. I just removed it from the wheel. Uh, I had the picture as well, guys. I had the little Revenant imp. Unlucky. Oh, well, it's back there. A huge drop right there. Amulet of Avarice. Let's go. It's so good. So I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer, but um, I'm so glad I got a rare drop. I was beginning to lose hope. I have been here for a little bit. That is such a nice drop to get. That is very close to the same table as the weapons. I am hoping to get one, but uh, I'm not going to stay here much longer. I've already been here for a about 50 or 60 KC. Uh, I might go to 100 uh, and then maybe spin another wheel, but I'm glad I at least got something. Also got these PVM caskets. I'm not sure how much cash I have, but I might try upgrading them. If not, I will just open them because there are potential upgrades in there, I believe. But I think the Slayer caskets will give me much better odds. And I was indeed rewarded literally 3 KC later. We got 3 Wilderness Keys. Oh man, I can't wait to open these. These have some really nice items in them. Actually, we can check the drop table after this one. But I am very interested to see what I can get from this loot. Alright. Loot tables. Wilderness key. Oh my goodness. I can get a death cape? It's actually possible for me to get a Elvar Cape Wildy Lock then. If these Wildy Keys can give a Death Cape. I think Chaos Ellie can drop it as well on here actually. Oh man. Alright, it's time to test the RNG. That's the PVM caskets. Ugh. Ibans, not bad. Could be good. I can definitely use that. Now. Is that chest again? Look at where it is. Here it is, right here. Alright, let's see. I've got the chest rates that you start with, and I've got three wilderness keys. Ooh, those bars could be useful later. Magic logs, and. Ooh, Dagon High? Not bad. It's quite a nice item to get, actually. Magic level of 70. Tell me to go mage. Runite bars. It's actually insane later on, but kind of useless at the moment. Magic logs, same sort of thing. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. I guess it's time to spin the wheel again. Alright, uh, let's get it. Can't get Rose again. That would be 2 OP. Well, let's see what it lands on. Uh, what? No, really not. Oh, yes. The blank one. Um, don't know. Don't know how I manage that one. Let's go again. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. This is gonna, this is gonna be rough. So I had to make a second wheel for the Wheel of Doom just to save my other wheel website because it does actually save all my current things. I'll quickly go over my things. So skull against another player in 30 Wilderness. Yell what your current Slayer task is. Gamble your best item versus another player, but I don't get to keep the profit. But if I win, I get to keep my side of the gamble. The live stream of 30 minutes of Wilderness content. Give half of your total value to the newest player online. Spend all your Slayer points, spend all your PK points. I added these ones myself, but all these other ones are from Arcane. Drop best weapon, drop cash stack, and donate 10, which is on the standard wheel as well. 
Well, let's see all what it lands on. <laughs> Could not have asked for a better result. Okay, spend all of your Slayer points. I might not have many, so I'm probably going to have to buy some absolute garbage. But uh, let's get back into the game and see what we can do about it. So here we are. I don't think I have many Slayer points. I've got 20. I'm going to be able to do this challenge. Okay, Dragon Darts are 10. Dwarven Rock Keg is 65. Dwarven Clubs are 45. Salve Amulet. PVM caskets are 275, 500, Ancient Stars are 50. Uh, Goal of Imbuing, Bristol Teleport. Um, how many did I have? 40, right? 20. Oh, well, that's an easy choice. I have to buy the. I have to buy the Dragon Darts. Um, <laughs> I can't see any other option. I have to buy two Dragon Darts. If you're happy, Arcane. Um, I'll put these two darts in good news. <laughs> Alright, back to the regular wheel to see what we're doing next. Uh, please don't give me the Wheel of Doom again. Ain't no way we're going back there. Bro, I'll take it. That's a... It wasn't a back-to-back. -back. I had to do a Wheel of Doom, so you know what? I'm feeling blessed. Let's get back into those reds and see if we can score another red drop. Hmm, three more keys. I think I just got an open them, honestly. These have such good rates, I feel like. Hmm, I don't think I have three chest rates, but I'll use the ones I've got. Any? I've got two. Go on, give me that wieldy weapon. Yeah, no, you want a game. No, at least give me a unique, man. Ooh, Corrupted Dust, interesting. And Dragon Boots, a little bit. that one as well, if I can get Crystal... Crystal Body, might be possible. From one of the keys to see on that one that one could this one turns the regular armor into the corrupted all right we got basically to 200 imps no more res unfortunately um i am going to wrap up this video very soon um before we do that quick look at the bank it's getting there it's getting there the we have an enhanced crystal weapon seed and a corrupt dust and we also got the amulet of avarice which is quite nice keeps me scold and um yeah so here's the bank so far um i'm not gonna bother with those easy clues uh, i wish i had more stuff to open but we've got the two pvm caskets um oh that was the other thing we um i'm wondering what you guys think about the battle pass whether i should keep the stuff or not um, we are on level 4. Obviously, I would not get the premium one, but let me know what you guys think about the battle pass. Achievement-wise, I'm just going to allow this. There's not many achievements I can even finish to begin with. But uh, I am going to allow the achievements. I think that's all the ones I can claim. So we did get some room gloves. Pretty borrow ones, so yeah. And we got a 2 times a slow point scroll. And uh, yeah, let's open our last three PVM caskets for the video. Fine, chaps. Uh, rubber chicken, I'll take that. And an amulet of strength. There we go. Actually, I can't complain. I didn't. Oh, I've got the avarice. But I um, actually don't know what's better. Let's have a look. I think avarice is the same as glory, right? I believe it is. Yeah. Amulet and um, if I'm not doing revs, I don't really want to be wearing the avarice because it keeps you permanently scold. But uh, yeah, that uh, that kind of sums up this video. Uh, giveaway winner will be in the description as always. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, RNG kind of dogged me a little bit this episode, so but we did get the avarice and we did get the corrupted dust and we got a few things. I was really hoping to get a rev weapon this episode. 
to make things interesting to say the least. But we will get there very soon, I hope. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.